for nine years or ten years now, we've had this organic community garden out front. And when Maya became involved, I was very happy because she has a passion for this. I've been living in Sequatchie where rock haulers come and rip giant rocks out of the gullies and the, and the sides of the mountains and change the, the way the water flows. And, you know, no one really seems to understand or care about what impact that has on the little ecosystems and the little, you know, every tiny little world that gets destroyed every time you move a rock or an entire mountain. You know, just her caring nature is something to be appreciated and uh, she definitely has the, the special quality of uh, having grown up and it looks to be like a knowledgeable family and, um, you know, it makes a difference helping others understand more about gardening and, you know, having the community be involved and more in touch. Um, this is a trail that we discovered when we were at a school work day and we figured out that it goes a pretty long way down into the woods so it's going to be a cool kind of hangout place for us to work on Earth Club stuff. Earth Club was kind of started by my sister but I picked it back up when I got into high school because it's a really great thing to have here. A lot of kids in high school are really interested in it because we're learning to grow our own food and talk about recycling and things like that. It's our planet, man. We only have one. I, we really need to take care of it now, and I really want to help my generation see that. Right on. In 2010, a few things happened that turned my love of nature into something that would really help our environment. I started taking classes with a herpetologist, learning about reptiles and amphibians. I also started my first season of going to frog listening workshops, <laughs> learning how to identify frogs and their calls okay. or sound. So I started giving frog presentations, giving, setting up frog booths, and hosting nature videos. Frogs, like other amphibians, are facing a lot of problems, but there are many simple things that ordinary people can do to help. So basically, when we are saving frogs, we save the environment. I hope you were inspired by National Get Outdoors Day to go have some outdoor fun. And maybe you can get, you can get a chance to meet some of your own wild neighbors.